Hello and welcome to how to do a pretzel stretch in just one day. It's much easier than you think and trust me, you can learn this any age. Let's get started. Part 1. Stretching and warm up. Don't worry, it's going to be pretty short. Let's kick it off with split kicks. If you watch my other videos, you know how much I love these. So focus on kicking your legs as high as you possibly can towards your face. And let's repeat that on the other side. This exercise really works your hip flexors, quads, glutes, and hamstrings. You really don't need to be flexible to do these. It's more about developing leg strength. Let's do some toe touch kick. Focus on getting your leg as high as you possibly can. Your core stand tall. Look up. You got this. Of course, repeat that on the other side so we can evenly develop out both sides of our body strength. Remember, this really will help you imitate the feeling of the pretzel in the air, so these are super important. Put your left splits as far as you possibly can. If, however, you pull your right leg in the air and stand on your left, then stretch your right split instead. Put your nose to your knees so you can really press down on your thighs. If you don't have your splits already, just do the best you can and watch my splits tutorials, which I'll link below. Next, warm up any standing stretches you can do, like heel stretch or bow and arrow, if you can. It's okay if you don't know how to do these, but I do have tutorials on these if you want to learn how. Part 2. Learn the pretzel. There's several ways to do this. I recommend you watch and try them all to see which one works best for you. For the side tuck method, super easy. You just pull your legs sideways and transition right into the pretzel. It's for anyone who's pretty strong but doesn't have great flexibility. First, tuck your legs sideways close to the left side of your body. Try to pull your calves to your hamstrings, your knee near your shoulders. Stabilize yourself and then wrap your left arm backwards around your leg. Having trouble balancing, you can lean slightly over to the right and grab the bar. And when you're ready, straighten out your left leg and you're in a pretzel. Try it on your own in real time. If you're having trouble doing the stretch, remember to focus on engaging your glutes and hamstrings rather than doing splits. That makes it a lot easier. stretch method where you transition from a heel stretch to the pretzel aka grabbing your foot to grabbing your thigh. Pretty easy if you have your heel stretch already in pretty good balance. Flexibility is mostly at par. First pull a heel stretch. Make sure you're pulling your legs straight, pointing your feet, and getting your foot as high as you can. Then loop your right arm over towards your left foot. Pull your left leg just a little tiny bit closer towards your ear. Release your left arm through that gap between your ear and your left leg and then just loop it around backwards. Then release your right arm from your left foot and there you go, you're in your pretzel. Great, now try it on your own in real time. Remember, it's okay if you can't pull that front stretch perfectly. The idea is just get it high enough so you can wrap your leg. bar stretch method where we're going to place one foot up on the bar or the kitchen table or whatever it is you're using and then just pull the pretzel from there. Really, really easy. First, lift your left leg up, captain pose. Be roughly 90 degrees perpendicular with your right leg, the one you're standing on. Next, bring your left arm in front of your left thigh and then just wrap it around backwards. Now slowly shift your weight over towards the right, and when you're ready, pull your left leg straight. Here you go, you got it, Rockstar. Right, now try it on your own in real time. Remember, the key to this is to find a comfortable position for your leg before straightening it out. This is the front tuck method, similar to the side tuck method. If you have poor balance, but okay leg flexibility, then this will probably be the way for you. First, tuck your shin to your chest. Pretend like you're hugging it. If in trouble, you can lean backwards slightly to get your leg higher. Keep your leg exactly where it is, but release your shins now and hug your hamstrings. Get your quads or the front of your leg to touch your chest. Release your left arm straight in front of you. Keep your right arm and left leg exactly where they are. Put your left arm under your left knee so it's exactly parallel with your right arm. Wrap your arms backwards and hug your thigh close to the side of your body. 
you're ready, straighten out your leg. And there you go, you're in a pretzel. Fabulosa, now let's try the whole thing in real time. Remember to go watch my balance video, which I'll link below if you're having a little trouble with that. This is a side stretch method, so it's kind of a hybrid between a heel stretch and a tilt. First, pull a side stretch. Open up your hips and rotate them out so you can pull your leg as high as you can. Use the bar to balance if needed. When you're balanced, now loop your right arm right over so it's touching your left foot. You get a pretty good grip on your left foot if you can. Then release your left arm straight in front of you. So my body rotates a little bit sideways when I do this. You can do that to help you keep your balance. Rotate your upper body forward and then loop your left arm back so it's hugging your thigh really close to the side of your body. When you're ready, release your right arm behind your back and there you go, you're in the pretzel. Great, now try this on your own in real time. Remember, if you have trouble balancing, you should definitely go watch my balance video, which I'll link below. This is the bow and arrow method where we're transitioning right from the front stretch into the pretzel. If you're already pretty flexible and can do this, this is the way for you. First, pull your front stretch. Try to get your leg as close to your ear as possible. Now loop your left arm backwards. Keep your right arm and left leg exactly where it is. Find your balance, then release your right arm and have it meet your left hand. There you go, you're in the pretzel. Great, now try it on your own in real time. One sneaky little trick is that you can use the bar or the wall behind you to balance. Now time to learn it straight in like the pros do it. First, try the side kick, thigh kick. Swing your leg out sideways and straight just like in the two jumps we were doing in the warm up. Keep your back straight and grab your thigh with your arm. Great, now we're gonna do the same thing except we're gonna wrap our arms from the front instead of the back. The trick is to lean forward just slightly and kick your leg out pointed and straight. It might feel a little weird at first, but trust me, it'll become second nature in no time. Congrats on getting all the way through this tutorial. I know it's been like super helpful for you, so make sure you like this video. Go subscribe, hit the red button below because we've got tons of parties planned and giveaways coming up, so you definitely want to be tuned in for that and go check out my other workouts too, which I'll link below. Remember to go download my free app on the iPhone App Store called Erica Lynn. Share my channel with friends and family and all that good stuff and leave comments below on what videos you want to see next. Anyways, see you later, y'all.